Hey guys, marry me. Okay, today I'm gonna I'm gonna do another basin video. Like I've had this stuff for a while, I just haven't felt like doing it. I haven't been in the mood, so I don't want to do this kind of stuff when the energy's not right. And I'd usually be doing this outside, but it's windy, windy out there. It's just everything will blow away. But I got to show you everything I have that I'm going to use for this one. Just more of just decoration and like put on the wall or something. But we got something like this wheat grass. I got this other grass. That's more fluffy. I got a couple pieces of it. That wasn't very much of it growing along the road. I go for walks every day. Almost every day. Get it separated. Keep everything kind of separate. But, anyways, not that. Most of it will be this wheat grass. That's the base of it. Then I got some other stuff for like decorations. And I got this. I've been drawing. That's another reason I haven't done it because I've been waiting for this to try. Not sure what it is, but it's pretty. It's got these pretty yellow flowers on it. I got two little bundles of it. And I've got these dried flower heads. See, so like, I think those are gonna be towards the top. I think I might take them apart. I don't know. We're just going with the flow here today. I usually have more of a plan when I'm making the brooms and stuff. That's a little bit different style than I'm used to. Okay, so I'm just going to first just bundle all these together, the wheat, try to find the longest ones for the middle and work my way out. That way it has some dimension. And once I do that, I'll be back. I'm also tearing all these little leaves side leaves off there too to make it look neater and cleaner. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, I've got all the wheat separated. I think what I'm going to do is line all these ends up because I have a few different sizes. That way it'll be, down here it'll have kind of, it'll be kind of textured. It'll have dimension. It won't just be a big old mass of wheat on the end. Okay, so Just pull these down. They're all pulled up. You kind of like a little bit of a dimension down there. 
I'm going to tie it right here. Tie them in two places to keep it together for now. Really short ones. Probably tighter. I'm just gonna put them on one side. There's not very many of them. You're only gonna see one side really at one time. So I don't have the time. My bundle of wheat, and I separated these. Yeah, I separated all of them while I was trying to. I was untying a knot on a string, but I think next I need to do these. texture. And the reason why it's nicer to do it outside, you don't have to worry about the mess. You can just be the grandmother to take care of. But I'm getting it all over the floor. I'm trying to hit this bucket I have down here. Such different texture that way. Yeah, I like that. These are just stripping the leaves off the main stem. I'm gonna leave these whole like this. I don't know if I'll use both of them.
I think it actually runs all stick in this level. I don't know if you watched the one where I did it out. I like the little grass tops, the little broom out of the grass tops. Kind of like an altar broom, I guess. That's what I'm going to use it for. Keep it near my altar. Most of the decorative stuff just on one side because it's decorative, it'll be hanging on the wall probably. Let's see what I got here. These are really, really short ones. I was going to go on the little bouquet, like I mentioned. Maybe I could put one over it, some over it too. Kinda have to let it go as you feel, you know. So I used to have a game plan, but like, it's not like in stone. Like I like to kind of just go with the energy of the materials. Some in like that. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Now I just have to tie it up. Okay, I've got it all wrapped. I just wanted to kind of show how I tie it off again. When I start down here, I have a long tail and I bring it up. Here and wrap the end around there, hold on to it, and slowly wrap the other end around tight. You just keep it tight going around until I get to where I need to stop. Then I take the tail off and wrap it in the opposite direction that I was going with the other stuff. That stuff everywhere. nice knot then I usually use a crochet hook or something to tuck those in I'm going to cut it off here and
really a little bit on it. I don't know. I'll decide. I'm gonna finish the stuck in these ends in. I'll take some pictures to post at the end of the video. Alright. Listen to me.